This is Mr. Ringo, and if you are watching this, that means you too are in quarantine and not in the classroom. Have no fear, we will be doing some labs, but at a safe distance and abiding by all shelter-in-place orders. You, like me, may also find yourself in possession of a larger-than-usual amount of pasta. So my brain got to wondering, how does all that pasta stay together in a box, or even in a bag? This week, we are going to use the scientific method to find out. Let's start with some observations. Now, if you have ever held an uncooked pasta before, you know it's brittle and breaks easily. A single noodle snaps, even with only a small amount of pressure. Here, you can see that with one finger, I am able to splinter this noodle and not even break a sweat. The same is true if you combine multiple uncooked noodles together. Even a four-year-old can break her age in noodles. So my question is, how many noodles does it take to not break them all when reasonable force is applied? To do this, we are going to have to design an experiment. And since everyone has different amounts of strength, I don't think snapping pasta with my hands is going to be the best method to test my question. Instead, I need a force that is consistent and measurable. Enter my remote control off-road crash car and a couple of cinder blocks. You may remember it from such memorable moments as this one. Research time. The biggest thing we need to find out is how much force will the car have when it hits the cinder blocks. And lucky for us, we know that the force equals mass times acceleration. So if we want to find out the force of the car hitting the cinder block, all we need to know is how much it weighs and how fast it gets going. I put the car on a gram scale and it weighs 1.44 pounds or 652.5 grams. But to find out how fast it accelerates, we need to test it on the track. I have put red marks on the ground every 10 feet. The car takes off and covers the first 10 feet in 1.16 seconds, the second 10 feet in 0.24 seconds, the third in 0.23 seconds, the fourth in 0.21 seconds, the fifth in 0.21 seconds, and, whoa, wait, that's not right. Maybe we need to adjust the distance a little bit. So it turns out I can only get the car to go straight for about 30 feet. Let's just go back that far. Back to acceleration. The car travels 30 feet in an average of 18.4 feet per second and takes 1.63 seconds to do so. Velocity divided by time gets you an average acceleration of 11.29 feet per second squared. Yeah, I know it can get more complicated than that, but we're keeping it simple this week. So now, if I multiply 1.44 pounds by 11.29 feet per second squared, that equals 16.25 pounds of force. If you're saying to yourself, Mr. Ringo, my brain hurts, don't stress. I just want to give you a number to go with the car hitting the wall. All this math adds up to the remote control car being able to absolutely decimate noodles. All right, we've made an observation, asked a testable question, and did some research. So now it's your turn you need to come up with a hypothesis for our experiment. If we attach a full box of spaghetti to the front of the remote control car, then will most of the spaghetti break or not? What makes you think so? If you have some pasta lying around and you want to do your own research, you're more than welcome to. But ask your adult before you steal all their pasta. Also, please feel free to post your hypothesis in the comment section below. But if you want your teacher to see your answer, you'd better post your hypothesis in your online classroom. You have until Thursday at 8 a.m. to submit your answers. The second half of the experiment goes live Thursday morning.